Craig from Lemar UK and welcome to episode 3 of The Focus Show and today we're focusing on the Lemar Air Master. It's the most popular helmet with the Astana riders and we're going to tell you why that is and also why those reasons mean that this could be the perfect helmet for you. Let's get stuck in. shows have been cancelled you can't come to see our products so the whole idea of these Lemar focus shows is that we bring our products to you and as mentioned in the intro today we're focusing on the Lemar Air Master so the Lemar Air Master is the most popular helmet with the Astana riders now the real reasons for that we'll get into a little bit later but what we need to do first is just explain as to how the Lima Air Revolution range came into being. So if you've already seen this on some of the previous episodes and, you know, bear with us, but we do need to explain just in case others haven't seen it. So Lima go back into the Pro Peloton in 2017. At that point, Lima were concentrating on lightweight helmets. Lightweight was the strategy of the company and we were making the lightest helmet range in the world. We still do. And the lightest helmet in the world which is the ultralight plus the ultralight plus is still the lightest helmet in the world and the astana wore that for the first year of the sponsorship now at the end of that first year astana said that they would like to go down a more aerodynamic route because a lot of the rival teams had started to do that so a design collaboration started between Lemar and astana to basically make the fastest aero helmet they could and that was through wind tunnel testing at the F1 facility in Magnicourt in France and through CFD computer software and then real time testing with the actual Astana riders as well. So as that design collaboration started and started to widen out, that eventually turned into bringing out a range of four helmets, all designed around fully functioning aerodynamics, but each helmet was specialized in certain weather conditions and for certain races. So that had never been done before. So what it meant for Astana was that no matter what race they were racing in and what weather conditions they were racing in, one of the helmets would perfectly suit those conditions and that race for that given day and would give them an advantage over their rivals. For you, the customer, it means that depending on what type of riding that you do, one of these helmets is gonna perfectly suit that style of riding. So when you design an aerodynamic helmet, one of the biggest challenges is to get the aerodynamics working incredibly well so it's really slippery and fast. That's the reason why you wear an aero style helmet, but also get the ventilation to work well enough to keep you cool in hot conditions. So with the Air Master, that was the design brief with this. Let's make a really aerodynamic helmet, but also gets that balance with fantastic ventilation so you can use it on the hottest of days. Now, in order to do that, it is, like I say, it's one of the most difficult things. Now, as you can see with the Air Master, it is what you expect an aero style helmet to look like in the fact that it's got more covering than it has vents. So you can see the way that the helmet's been sculpted with these kind of channels on the top here. That's all designed to be extremely slippy and cut through the air when you go into a wind tunnel and it works incredibly well. The numbers on this helmet are very, very, very good. But then when you come to the ventilation, that's where it becomes a lot more difficult within the design process to get those two things to actually work perfectly well together. Now, the way that Lemar achieved that is actually quite clever because they've used something called the Venturi effect. Now, as far as we know, the Venturi effect's not been used in helmet design before. Now, what the Venturi effect is, it's used in all manner of engineering uh, projects. Uh, and it's simply where air enters through a wide area and goes out of a smaller area. It naturally accelerates the airflow through that area. So if I bring the, the helmet up close here, 
you can see there, you can see with this vent here, how much wider it is at the entry point and how narrow it is actually at the exit point. And as I bring each vent round, you will see that with every single vent that's in the design of the helmet. So after we've done the wind tunnel testing and realized that the aerodynamic numbers were very, very good with this helmet, we then gave it to the Astana riders to actually go and do some real time testing. And that was when we realized that we'd actually got the balance really, really spot on because they came back and said that the ventilation was absolutely fantastic for an aero helmet. And that is the reason why it's the most popular helmet with the Astana riders, because all year round, this is the one that they can wear the most. Now, only when you get the really super, super hot days on a mountain stage in a Grand Tour, will you see the Astana riders switch to the Air Pro. Almost all of the time, apart from that, you will see them wearing the Air Master. So, I think we can cut some clips now and show some of the Astana riders wearing the Air Master, including Jakob Fuglsang last year winning the classic Liège Baston Liège. Uh, Miguel Angel Lopez, the Grand Tour rider, has finished on the podium at the Giro d'Italia, Vuelta Espana, worn leaders jerseys. This is his favourite helmet. He wears this probably 70% of the year because it gives him both things that he really needs, which is that performance and the ventilation. So let's just have a quick look at some of those clips right now. Here with no bonus seconds up for grabs, every second counts, and he's gonna have quite a few actually. Line hit now, and the clock starts. And the Spanish veteran hung on to take a first win at Tour de Suisse with Caspar Askren of the Coining Quick Step taking over. Para los pedales, Miguel Ángel, el Superman. Aquí viene el colombiano. Voltea desesperado. Sabe que puede sacarlos. El cronómetro es la clave, pero Dani Martín va por lo mismo. Meters to go. No one denies this rider the victory. He deserves it. His season has been sparkling, and now he's bringing it home. Jakob Fuhl sang wins Liège fast on Liège. For Denmark, for Astana, superb. So, some great clips there of the Astana riders having fantastic success wearing the Limar Air Master. So, what does this mean for you? Well, the most popular group of cyclists in the world are the Grand Fondo Sportive cafe, Sunday Cafe Run riders with their cycling club friends you know, going and doing fairly long distances. This helmet is absolutely tailor-made for that type of rider, for absolutely sure, because you're gonna get that aerodynamic performance. That might not be as important to the sportive rider, but you know, everything that you can get from your equipment helps at the end of the day. But the key thing is for that type of rider is that the ventilation is gonna keep you nice and cool on any hot days that you're out cycling with your friends or doing a sportive event. But also any racing cyclists out there as well, you know, there's a reason why the Astana riders wear this helmet most of the time. It's because it performs incredibly well in helping their performance in their races. But also, again, the ventilation is gonna keep them cool, make sure that they don't overheat in races. So, it is an absolutely phenomenal helmet. It really is. It's one of the most popular helmets in our range because it hits such a broad range of types of riders. You've got 15 vents. So that's actually, you know, it doesn't look like a helmet that's got 15 vents, but it has got 15 vents, which is why another reason why the ventilation works so well, as long as with the, along with the Venturi effect. You've got really big vents here at the back, which are the exhaust ports. So that's for letting all of that hot air escape out the back and keeping you nice and cool. You've got the air fit retention system, which we've mentioned in some of the other videos. Fantastic uh, retention system, really minimal, really lightweight. It's got the little dial there. You've got a vertical adjustment that goes up and down. Uh, and the thing that, like I've mentioned in the other videos, the thing I really like about that is that the retention system, it comes down and it goes that way. So it maintains the angle to the back of your head because your head, back of your head doesn't come straight down. It comes down and goes into the nape of your neck. So what that, by maintaining that angle, it means that it just keeps it super comfortable at the back of your head. 
and allows you to get it exactly where you want it to be as well. And just absolutely superb comfort values from the uh, air fit retention system. You also get your little chin strap, which everyone loves that because it just keeps it really nice and uh, comfortable under your chin as well. Doesn't get any abrasions. So it's just that's it for episode three. Let's just have a very quick recap on everything we've spoken about today. So with the Air Master, you've got a helmet that's been designed in collaboration with one of the biggest cycling teams in the world, been tested in the real world by some of the biggest name riders, and also has won some of the biggest races in the world. And the result of all of that design, collaboration and testing is a helmet that works incredibly well aerodynamically but also by utilizing the Venturi effect in the vent system means that you've got incredible ventilation to go along with those aerodynamics. The Venturi effect is something that's not been used in helmet design before, so it makes this helmet very, very unique. And you get all of that for the price of £129.99. So if you just think about value for money, a helmet that is punching at that kind of level at that kind of price point is very, very unusual. Another thing that we've not spoken about really is the aesthetics of the helmet. It really is a fantastic, beautiful, stylish looking modern helmet. All the colorways are gonna come up at the end of this video. One of those will definitely match your kit or the color of your bike or whatever your color of choice is to ride around in. So that's it for the Air Master. Hope you've learned something today about all the development and all of the uh, real in-depth design that's gone into our Air Revolution helmets. Keep an eye out for episode four, where we're actually just for one episode, we're gonna move away from helmets and we're gonna concentrate on the Limar Kona eyewear. So keep an eye out for that episode. It should be coming in the coming week and we'll see you then. <laughs>